Billboard sample, though. Billboard. to our pad scene right here and we're going to put our attack function up to about 75. Our sample is going to sound like this with a snare and after we apply our attack it's going to sort of take the snare out of the sample. So now if we want we could place that where a kick would be without them interfering with each other. double up our sample and our second sample layer is going to be strictly bass. So what we did is we assigned the, the same samples on pad bank A to pad bank C or whatever pad bank of your choice. We assigned the exact same samples. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our filter envelope, go to the type, go all the way to MPC, our cutoff range. As you can see, the lower we go, the more bass comes out and there's no more mid-tones and high-tones. Further bring out the bass, we went into the effects. We put a 4-band EQ on there just to bring out the low end. In order to layer our samples and play them on top of each other, we're going to go back to Pad Bank A, go to the master under Simultaneous Play. For every pad, you're going to assign it to the same pad as Pad Bank <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.